Hello everybody, here's Ahmed Nasser uh, with a new tutorial about NoSQL database. Today we're going to begin talking about NoSQL. What are they and uh, how they work and what kind of NoSQL database we have today. What are their advantages and disadvantages? Uh, first thing, we have a NoSQL database which is an attempt to using non-relational solutions. On the other hand, we have the SQL database or the scalable edition from SQL databases which is known as NoSQL, NewSQL, uh, which is a scaling relational databases. Uh, for example, uh, let's take a definition for NoSQL database. First thing, it's non-relational, it's scalable, whether it's vertical in adding more data or horizontally in adding more storage. It's uh, NoSQL database is a collection of structure, whether it's uh, hash tables, maps, dictionaries, or documents. There's no predefined schema, no join operation. We don't have any join operations because it's NoSQL database. Uh, everything is pointer. We don't have join like a relational database. We just have pointers. Uh, it's cab, not a seed because CAB is uh, consistency, availability, and bar partitioning, whether ACID or ACID is atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. What are the advantages? They are cheap, easy to distribute, and that data are replicated and don't require a schema and can scale up and down, quickly processing large amount of data and relax the data consistency requirement which is known as CAP and can handle web scale data whereas the relational database cannot so we talk about cannot in 90-90% of the cases but we gotta know later what are the new SQL and what is this you know new scaling uh, model of databases that exist in the market today uh, what are the disadvantages they are new and sometimes buggy uh, data is generally duplicated and potential for inconsistency, no standardized schema, no standard format for queries, and no standard language, and difficult to impose complicated structure depending on the op application layer to enforce data integrity, and no guarantee of support, and too many options, which one or ones to pick. Uh, we have many options in using uh, the uh, key, uh, the NoSQL databases. Uh, we have uh, one called key value stores. Uh, we're talking about uh, hash map, for example, here. For example, you put the key and the value. This is kind of, uh, you know, hash map uh, or key value stores uh, as an option of, no, of NoSQL. Uh, we have uh, read is, is memory store. Uh, we have memcached and we have other uh, more. The second option is column stores like uh, Cassandra, HBase, and Amazon SimpleDB. And we have document stores. Uh, I'm going to run a demo on that after this uh, introduction. We're going to use MongoDB as a document stores for NoSQL database. It's a key document store. For example, we have MongoDB and, and CoachDB. And we have a graph stores like uh, uh, Neo4G. And this is just a demonstration of the, ex uh, you know, the databases. We have non-relational, we have relational. And you can see here we have a new SQL generation of uh, uh, SQL database. Uh, like uh, Amazon RDS and SQL Azure, database.com and others. This is called the new SQL databases. They're trying to scale up and, and um, you know, uh, a new version of databases to work on the cloud. So most of these databases are databases as servers. Uh, we have on the other hand, we have others non-relational databases like uh, we said key value, document, big tables, graph, and these are all called uh, database, NoSQL uh, databases uh, like you know MongoDB and uh, Cassandra and New4G 4J. It's, they are all called uh, 
uh, you know NoSQL relational database um, you know this is a very nice diagram okay this is uh, the polyglot persistence uh, for example, the, you know, I show you how you can invest your uh, application depend on your database and what kind of databases technologies you can use for different storage requirement. Uh, we have, uh, for example, financial data. We can use the RDBMS, and for uh, a recommendation shopping cart, show you. For uh, product catalog, we can use MongoDB, and reporting you can use, you know, analytics you can use Cassandra, and you know, monitoring user activity logs you can use also Cassandra. So in order to uh, be successful person in using the NoSQL database, you need to know your application. Don't forget the best lessons and consider a hybrid approach. There's many consider hybrid approach and fight the desire to rule your own database start small but significant uh, we have two systems the new sql and sql rd bms and we have updates real time and asynchronous or batches here we have no sql there's data mapping tools between the no sql and sql like toot uh, you know f uh, toot tool you can use it for such a mapping and we have other hybrid approach you know we have uh, our data we have relational uh, NoSQL we have NoSQL key value document column graph and you need to decide which one to use okay so uh, you know this is just a NoSQL building block you can uh, using this uh, global Global database the arc its score for of intersystem cache free of for development reduction simple ABIs Java and sponsored sponsored by intersystems and this is a look for the future over time I think we will see NoSQL features in mainstream databases NoSQL offering by more commercial companies and dominant open source which are free NoSQL projects and new definition of enterprise databases. Uh, this is just uh, NoSQL vendors, uh, open source NoSQL vendors. We have uh, Cassandra, MongoDB, and others, Neo4g. And for the new SQL uh, commercial databases, we have InterSystem, SimbleDB, Azure Table Storage and Google App Engine Data Storage, Mark Logic Server, and Infinity Graph and React uh, also has an open source version, and we have Berkeley Database. So this is the end of this, uh, you know, introduction to uh, SQL, NoSQL databases. I hope you enjoy it. In the next tutorial, we gotta begin talking about MongoDB. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in another tutorial. Thank you.